Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I am working on a piece that is combining a few things that I need to get better at and learn in the next coming year for some goals that I have and I will definitely be talking more about that but I do want to give a really quick thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I have worked with them a lot in the past and I absolutely love it because I do love their product personally, but they are an online community dedicated to learning, particularly around creative topics. And that is why I find it so inspiring to go there and just look through all the different categories and the different classes. There's, there's so much to learn there and it's a lot of stuff that I never knew I wanted to learn, but I did go through and try to find a lot of graphic novel and comic classes in particular. And that's that's what I'm really interested in lately, but premium memberships come with unlimited access to all of those classes. And when you get an annual subscription, it is just under $10 a month. So that's really a great deal for a lot of the resource that they have. But I do actually have a coupon code for you guys. So you can get three months for 99 cents over at Skillshare. And I'll have a link down in the description, but basically the code is Danica7. And again, I'll have a link in the description that'll take you over there. But let's go ahead and dive into this piece that I'm working on today. So going into the new year, I have one main very specific goal and a lot of other art learning goals that I need to learn. And I hate calling them goals. I, I don't know. I know it's just linguistics at that point, but I feel like when I call them goals, it feels like they're something that is optional. It's a great idea if I can achieve it, but it's not really necessary. So I'm trying to think of these more as plans, but I want to make this year my year to get a handle on, on my skills, on my practices, on me as an artist. I want to be able to put myself on the right path. I think that I've, I've set myself in the right direction. I think over the last couple of years of simply being more self-critical and introspective about the pieces that I create, but I, I don't think the follow through is there. And I think this year it's time to make that happen. I need to start studying the things that I know I need to study and not just try to make them work in the next piece. I need to really dive into figuring those out. But the the biggest main project that I really want to work on this year is actually a graphic novel. And it's kind of scary to say that because there have been other projects that I've addressed in the past that I said I wanted to do. And it it's a really painful to bring those things up and then not achieve them, not be able to follow through with that. I hate that. I want to be able to be the person that I want to be. I want to be the kind of artist that, that does the things that she wants to do and accomplishes those goals. And this is a big one. This is one thing that I've wanted to do for as long as I can remember. I was really interested in animation for a long time all through middle school and high school, but this was always something that felt achievable to me. At that point, I was always thinking, okay, well, I can always do a graphic novel. I can create a story and I can completely control it. I can make it happen, but it, it hasn't happened. I haven't made it happen yet. And honestly, I don't think it's a hundred percent the art side of it. That's keeping me back. It's actually the story and the writing that is the side of of me that I feel the most self-conscious about because it is something that I have much less practice in. But, but yeah, that, that's a, that's my thing for this year that, that I need to make sure that I accomplish that, that I take control of that. I have plenty of time to make it happen. And if I don't make it happen, then that's entirely on myself and I'm ready to live a life where I'm able to accomplish my goals and make my life the way that I want it to be. But but anyways, I'm getting very philosophical here, I think. But but I wanted to start off this piece with a, some of those elements. I think that I didn't really do a great job incorporating all of them, but I did really like putting myself in that direction of including paneling and a tiny bit of typography. I don't really get to that till the very end. But, but yeah, that was the concept for this one. I wanted to create something that felt like it could be part of a story and connected to other things that are going on. There could be more pages happening. And I wanted to create a little bit of some paneling. And yeah, that is that is the jumping off point for this one. And I felt so excited to work on this way more than I have on any of my pieces for a long time. And I think that those, that's all just signs that I'm in the right direction. I was really excited to work on an environment. They're tricky and they take more time, but 
they're more complex and challenging. And those are all really good things. I think those are things that, that I don't include enough because I feel like I'm running out of time, but because I'm not including these more challenging elements to my art, I'm not feeling challenged by my art. I'm not feeling like I'm growing. So, so it was exciting to work on a piece that combines several elements that I want to do, but I always end up not including. And then, and then I feel this emptiness of not having it in my work. So, so yeah, that's just a really roundabout way of saying that this page is hopefully a small step in the right direction of starting to do more graphic novels, more comic pages, more, more things that involve a storytelling time consistent element to it. And I'm sorry for being so rambly. I, I have a lot of thoughts and I have a hard time putting them in the right order, but that is the first big goal. And everything else seems, like I said, pretty connected because it is stuff that I would be using in that kind of an environment, in a graphic novel, comic environment. So the next big thing that I feel my art is, or at least the way that I work is severely lacking, is the understanding of anatomy. So... I'm okay at finding anatomy references and using them in my work, but I really want to study it. I want to know it inside and out. I want to know how to draw the human figure so that I can work more from my own mind. I find that when I sit down to create a concept, I am severely limited by what I can express. And I find that I have to go find reference first before I can get any sketches or thumbnails. And that, that, that I think is really debilitating for me to be able to get these ideas out. It creates this roadblock that I have to work around and then, and then I'm trying to tailor a reference into what I had in mind and oftentimes it doesn't really quite work. So that's my big thing. I really, really want to be able to get more comfortable drawing anatomy and understanding it and knowing how it works and how to make it the way that I want it to. And a little bit of an offshoot on that. I also really need to start studying faces better, particularly the pains of the, the planes of the face that is. So just the way that shadows hit it and highlights are created. I, I feel like I have a pretty rudimentary understanding of it and I'm ready to level that up and to be able to, to create much more complex faces and figures and and particularly going into trying to create a story and a comic I need to be able to create accurate figures quickly and I can't rely on having to spend endless amount of time on the internet trying to find these references so so yes <laughs> studying the human figure and getting well acquainted with that is my number two goal of this year and really at this point, I could pretty much just say getting better at all the elements of art. But I do know that one thing that I have realized has really held me back is my understanding or my my manipulation of values. When I go into pieces, I struggle with it a lot more than I feel like I should. So I really want to get back into doing assignment-based things that really push me into building pieces dedicated to really strong value structure. I definitely have gotten a little lazy on that. And I, I learned some great things in class, but I, you forget them along the way and they get lost a little bit. So I'm going to rededicate myself to finding resources and assignments that I can give myself that'll really help me get back into understanding that and really being able to use it exactly the way I want it to so that my images can be as strong as possible. I do think that that is one of the weakest links right now for me in my pieces. And this piece is actually a prime example of that. I definitely struggled with the values. This is again something that I do in almost all of my pieces where I'll jump into the colors first and the values end up getting pushed aside. But really it's the values that you read first. It's That's what the eyes see most of all. So I really need to just get a better handle of that. I know that once I have that down and have a better understanding of that and a better technique for incorporating it into my process, I'm going to be a much better artist. My artwork is going to be a lot stronger and a lot easier to clearly see what I want and to have the correct mood that I want. So, so this is one of the things that I feel the most optimistic about incorporating into my work. But all in all, I feel 
really happy about working on this piece. This might be one that maybe at the end of the year, after I put in all this effort to study these different things, I can come back and redo a similar piece like this and compare it, do a redraw of this one. But, but yeah, there were a lot of things that I really struggled with this in this piece and things that in the end I never could quite get correct. So did like the two bottles floating above his hand. I, I never could quite get them to stand out in the way that I wanted it to and to have quite the effect that I wanted. But, but it is all a learning process, but there's that. And then there's the other things that I've already addressed, the values in the piece. But this one will be a good thing, I think, to look back on in a year and, and see it as a benchmark of the time that I rededicated myself to my art and to learning this whole other technique of creating a story with art. And that is about it for today. Don't forget to check out Skillshare. Again, I have the coupon code down below and that'll give you three months for 99 cents. And that code ends at the end of January. So you can go ahead and try that out and see what you like. But that's it for me. I will be back next Wednesday with another video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys then.